got the Lord put on my heart to go to Lloyd Center and Holiday Park. So we're going to go there, see what the Holy Spirit's up to. So I feel like today we're just going to meet a bunch of people who are just ready to walk in what God has for them. The people who are hungry, they just don't know it. And He's going to send us uh, to awaken them. So, amen. Okay, I feel like some people are going to come to the Lord today, but I also feel like God's kind of targeting people who he wants to launch into this stuff. So I feel like a, a lot of people we're going to pray for and talk to today are really key in bringing revival. So it's going to be awesome. Let's see what happens. Hey, bud. So that was cool. Just prophesied over this dude. Um, got words about leadership, and it turns out he's a worship leader. And then just, yeah, God just unloaded his love on him. He prayed for some dude in Rite Aid. Rite Aid. His favor, God's favor was on his life. I actually saw his eyes dilate, which was crazy. Like a drug, like he just hit a pipe or something. Hey, man. Jesus, the most high. So we just got a word over uh, degenerative disc disease and back pain over this girl. We prayed for her and uh, just got to bless her. Okay, well, I was prayed over and my lower back and my neck both were hurting. I've got degenerative disc disease, but now my neck, and, I mean, I'm not having the pain at all. In fact, I just put it to one side and heard it crack like you would at a chiropractor. Come on, isn't you know, it? How, it, how it will relieve <laughs> yeah. when you do that. Yeah. But yeah, it's a whole lot better. And how about your lower back? How's it feeling? Um, pretty good, actually. Pretty good? I'm feeling a lot less achy and, okay. and tight. So it's like on a scale of one to ten, what's the achiness right now? Like a one. Like a one? Father, I just okay. thank you, Father. It's just completely healing it. Cool. Thank you for just the heat right now, Father. We're back right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. How's your back now? It's good. It's good? The one yeah. just disappeared? It's really good. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, Amen. But this left side has really been bothering me, but I don't feel any pain in it at all right now. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, she was hit by a car, so in Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, for brand new knees. In fact, Holy Spirit, fill them with your presence right now. She needs a hug, so I just pray for an angel to give her a hug right now, bro. Can you just bless her with your presence, bro? Thank you, God, for brand new kneecaps, God. I thank you for no more popping and no more pain, God. I thank you for restoring the cartilage and the meniscus, God. May you restore just both her kneecaps right now. I'm tickling. Like, I thank you, God, for just healing, God. Thank you, just, thank you, God. No more pain in her knees right now in Jesus' name. Because you love her right now. Thank you. What's, what's going on with your knees? Uh, they're tingling. They're, they're tingling. very tingling. <laughs> hey, Amen. Give it a sec. See, when the tingling stops, check them. I don't so know how to check them, but I will try. <laughs> I, I, I have something I can do. Just give me a second. Okay. It's still tingly. <laughs> <laughs> People are watching me. That's, that's it's all right. Okay. Hi. I think I met you with him. Maybe? It's possible. Maybe. I don't know. What was it? Holy crap. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Yay, hey, Jesus! That was awesome! Hallelujah! <laughs> this is the second time you've done this, so very what? impressed right now. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, just cool. healed her knees. And yeah, oh, check this out. Last time I ran into her, I, I saw that and just got a word over a tattoo about a messenger of God and, yes. and pray for your back or something. And that's so awesome. And you prayed for my fiance. You guys yeah. work together. Yeah. Very cool. And there's Jean and his daughter, Lisa. Lisa. Right. I just praise you. I thank you. I pray God for just the power to heal the sick, God. Jesus. Just when she works with youth, God, I pray God that when she lays hands on the youth, they'll, they'll encounter the intensity of, of your presence, Holy Spirit, that you take her in a deep partnership with you. I pray God for just prophetic. Everything you've given to me, I just impart to her, God. I just pray, God, that you just use her, God. When she works with the youth, God, that you just flow through her, God. Holy Spirit, just release more. Lord, I just pray for just let a wave of your presence hit her right now. Just, that's I thank you for hearing me clear, God. 
in Jesus' name. And I also pray, God, for just organized thoughts, oddly organized thoughts. I feel like God's going to organize your thoughts because you've been trying to focus on Him. And a billion things have been distracted. Just hit me at once, and I just saw like an unorganized file cabinet. <laughs> like, it's like, what's going on? Yeah. I feel like God's going to just bring you to that place where you're still in your mind yeah, and you'll be able to hear Him clear because your heart's for children, your heart's for kids. I can see that. God's just yeah. going to use that so powerfully. So, Holy Spirit, fill it. Can you feel that? Yes. Did you see my eyes twitching? <laughs> it happens to me when anybody prays over me. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Yeah, that is awesome. yeah God's <laughs> gonna use you powerfully. I like you're gonna lay hands on people, they're gonna get healed, and when you pray for people, they're gonna experience God's presence. I just see you've been wanting to show kids he's real. Yeah. That's like I just see a bit that on you. And That's the second prophecy you've given me about kids. Okay. I, That's very I don't remember the quote when I said this time. You pictured my fiance and I with a group of kids and us teaching them about God and there's power in the name of Jesus. So we were on the max. Uh, we prayed for a bunch of people. Just got to get prophetic words over some people. Then we uh, got off, prayed for that girl's knee. And then while we were all singing, some lady walks by. And we got to bless her. We got to pray over her, her family, and pray for a knee to be healed. And she was just really rocked and just really impacted. It was amazing. So it's cool how singing, just people walking by hearing you sing, could just be impacted like that. Amen. Amen. So we just uh, prayed, Dame just prayed over a lady's back and just got here. And the family is uh, excommunicated, Jehovah's Witness. So Jesus just kind of showed his love to them. It was amazing. All pain, get out. Thank you for no more bruising. No more pain. No more bruising. Yeah, no more bruising. Amen. Thank you. How's it going? Jesus. You kind of hurt something. Jesus made sure to be good. Fire God. Fire God. Shut it up. Come fire God. Thank you. It's a little bit loose. All things. All things. Cut up our Jesus. Feel Jesus. Check your lower back. How's it going? It still hurts. All right. 100%. Lower back. Just prayed for this dude's leg. You had a titanium knee. Ti or? A titanium plate, 14 screws, and you held my hand and said a prayer and my leg feels better. Amen. Thank you Jesus. so much. Amen. Just kind of, yeah, that's weird, right? Go. So we ran into a couple girls at the park. A uh, few of them we ran into last summer and just God started doing miracles. Left leg girl right now. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Walk on a little bit. How does it feel? Oh my God. <laughs> what? And it was amazing because we started getting prophetic words over one girl and just our prophesying over them. Uh, we prayed over them and uh, Scott just rocked him. So. This uh, angel is just going to give you a hug right now. Just oh, like, shoot, hug the angel. So Lord, just thank you. Let, let an angel just give her a hug just to prove that you're here, that you love her. In Jesus' name. <laughs> no, I'll just, just kind of receive it. Yeah, I'll you. There it goes. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. like, just kind of light. Just... Warm? Do you feel warm? Yeah. That's it's Jesus. He loves you. Mm. Like me, um, I used to be a meth addict on the streets, and I hated anything to do with Christians or God. Or and I was like, someone like someone would tell me about Jesus, I'd spit on him, you know. And then uh, I encountered him, and it's different once you actually encounter God, because like it's amazing. It's like no matter what I did against him, and I intentionally would like try and lead people away from the Lord, you know. And then it's like, no matter what I did against him, it's like, look, I love you. Are you done yet? I got better for you. Are you done yet? It's just crazy. I've been, I've been just walking with the Lord for 10 years now. I've mm. seen, we just prayed for this lady. I did degenerative disc disease in her neck and her lower back. And God just healed her like that. And just, I see this every day. It's cool. It's amazing. That's so cool. Yeah. So I was able to like talk to this girl. And uh, she... I asked her if she had any pain in her body. One of them said, um, 
she had pain in her back and I got to pray for her and then there's another girl that I uh, said she had one of the most weirdest requests ever which was she said like one of her straps on her bra was too tight and it was actually like pit pitching her and if I could pray that one of the sides would loosen up so I just prayed that God would take the pain away and that he was just loosening the muscles and uh, it's kind of awkward but uh, yeah Holy Spirit showed up and she got wrecked and was just surprised and it's awkward but Jesus is good. <laughs> It was amazing. One girl gave her life to the Lord, and then after Dane prayed over two of the girls and the odds started healing them, um, one of the other girls gave, rededicated her life to the Lord. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what, what just happened? I don't know. You don't know? You rededicated your life to the Lord, and we're praying for you to be baptized in the Spirit. What What did you feel? Out. What happened? I felt, I don't know, really light, like lightheaded, and it's just so much. It was just overwhelming Something crowding me I yeah. don't know. see what i saw like i was seeing in the spirit and what i saw was this cloud actually kind of went up your arm and like to your chest when you started like <laughs> <laughs> it was just a it's just god's so glory his presence oh that was yeah that was so, not that was so, cool i mean i don't know what it was <laughs> but, she quite but, i can't take Okay, so I got words over you, and so you gave your life to the Lord, so what happened? It's Sally. Well, I, I kind of just feel, like, released, like, I feel like I can, I can like, maybe think about the things that you said, you brought up, and then maybe I can try to once upon a time, and now I think I'm some evil queen. Bro, I just kind of reassured me, like, she said that there is somebody out there who understands and loves me. Oh, she wasn't with No, I just she came. Dude, that's what's up. So it started raining, so we went in the mall, uh, ran to a couple of kids. Check this out. Can you do me a favor and lay your hand on his shin where it's hurting? Yeah. Lay your hand, lay your hand on say in Jesus' name. Shin be healed. Shin be healed. All pain go. All pain go. Alright, check it. How's it feeling? Okay, any pain whatsoever? No. No? And you said it was hurting a second ago, right? Yeah. That's crazy, right? What about you? Alright, so Lord, Holy Spirit, fill them up. Fill them with your fire, fill them with your love, God. I just pray the commission of being baptized in your spirit, that they'll just have more of you to give to others, God. I just thank you, God. Let them feel your presence right now and bless them. I thank you, God, for an angel to speak to them. I'm just going to give them a hug right now, God. And you bless them in Jesus' name. I thank you. The Lord's your name. Lord, lift up Victoria and use your healing hands. I pray you fill her with the grace and the the sick, God, and give her prophetic words. Holy Spirit, give her a heart, fill her with your presence right now in Jesus' name. Did you feel anything from our place? I don't know how to do it. How do you feel? I saw angels in my heart. Yeah. Yeah, like God's just so real. We just pray. Today, today we pray for a lady who had degenerative disc disease, and every time she turned her neck, she gave a really bad pain. Jesus healed her like that. So we pray God took all the pain away. Amazing. Did you feel anything? Just lying in God's presence. Hey, what just happened? Yeah, my, my brother Matt here. Um, I was just praying over him. I just felt like God is sealing what he's doing in his life, like favor on his life. Um, just grace, radical grace. And I said, let me seal that in Jesus' name. So I just prayed for fire over him. And well, what happened? What happened? All right. He prayed for me. And I, I had a really good day. Some things came up that uh, showed that the Lord has me in his, his palm and prayed for me. And I got so hot, I was sweating. Amen. It was crazy. It was the craziest thing Amen. I've had happen to me physically for prayer ever. Amen. Dude. Alright, 
It's your hand. You have anybody this Christian? hand? Check it out. In Jesus' name, all pain get out. Hand be healed right now. Check it. Somewhat. So I'm going to take off on you right now, then what? Got it. Huh? Not it's not hurting no more? I promise you it's not hurting. Okay, and it was just hurting? Yeah, that's Jesus, man. So, Lord, God, I just thank you for saying that. Father, thank you that he's a leader, Lord. God, I thank you in Jesus' name, Father, that you were created him to be a leader, but also to model loyalty, God. Father, I thank you, Father, that he's going to lay hands probably, on people that are hurting. He's going to see people get healed, God, because there's a spiritual calling in his life, God. Anyways, they flew too far, and they threw themselves down. I was going to stay on top as soon as we heard it. This guy over here prayed for my bag and my friend's bag. I don't know what was wrong with my friend's bag, but you know, I, I had some bra issues where my bra was too tight. Now, after he prayed, right, I felt like I was like hallucinating. What's the word? Like feeling like um, imagining. I was imagining that my bra had got looser and then I felt better, right? But, like, time just kept going and my back didn't hurt no more. It didn't hey, hurt no man. more. And then when we were walking through the park, we ended up running into them again. And uh, by that time, they had both been drinking. They are pretty drunk. And uh, one of them started talking about how uh, she just really, you know, didn't like her self-image. And she felt like that she just wasn't loved. She had gone through some family problems where she said her mom wasn't, uh, didn't care about her. It was just cool because we got to pray over her again and just really like let her know how much how valuable she is to God. And, and so much happened, but really, just the most incredible thing is just seeing how God touched her and her need for the Lord, and seeing that there's really no one out there that could bring that value to her, and that we were able to just pour into her identity. God is good. Alright, so uh, we got off the max and there's this guy, he was kind of glaring at me and just, second me and Dame walked up, he was just looking at us and kind of like, shh, shh. So I asked him, I'm like, hey man, can I pray for you? And he goes, there's no God, blah, blah, blah. And he starts telling me that uh, there's a God, he wouldn't be in that mess. So I, I asked him if I could just pray for him. He started telling me that about, he has uh, spent all his money on male prostitutes and uh, on drugs and He's homeless now, his family's rejected him, he has like AIDS and liver problems, and so I asked him if I could pray for him, and he looks at me and goes, um, you can pray, but I'm not gonna pray with you. So I just started praying over him, and he opened up, and they just gave a chance to really share the gospel, and like you could really tell, like he went from just glaring at us and really just mad to starting to receiving it, and you could actually see a change by the end. He started just asking me more questions, and, and at the end it was sad, because I, I told him, no matter what you've done, Jesus loves you. He took everything you've done upon himself. He loves you and he looks. He goes, I don't love myself. And I got on the bus and just drove off. But God's marked him. It's over. God's gonna God's God's a lover. He, he's gonna pursue his love for him. Mm -hmm. So Jesus, I just thank you for each person who watched this video, God. Lord, I just thank you that you're empowering them right now, God, to be able to go out and manifest the kingdom, God, and see your glory come, Father. I just pray even now, Holy Spirit, that under the sound of my words, that each person listening, God, would just be filled, Holy Spirit, that you would touch them, that you would bless them, that you would fill them, God. I thank you for someone feeling warm right now as I'm speaking. I thank you for someone feeling a tingling in their hands, God, that you're blessing them and you're empowering them giving them a tangible sign that you're going to use them, God, to do the same, to see miracles happen, to see signs and wonders follow, God, as they go out and just love people. In Jesus' name.